Butchko here with Wellness Works, and it is a cat food making weekend here um, at the Butchko house. Um, if you remember, this is something that we do about four times a year, and one of the things that we do um, to get prepared for the day is um, make a high quality chicken stock to help liquefy the food mixture that we'll make tomorrow. Um, the reason I do it today is so that I have an opportunity to use my pressure cooker and get the broth nice and cool so I'm not actually cooking um, the chicken when I uh, mix the food together tomorrow. So um, of course there's more videos on how to um, how to make cat food but this video is just about the stock making process. So, um, first of all, this is the result that you're going to want to end up with, and this is just a couple cups of stock that I actually made for humans, but I only do a couple things different when I make cat stock. Um, well, not cat stock, it's chicken stock, but it's, you know, for cat food. Okay, so um, I don't know if you can tell, but my stock is a little bit gelatinous. You can kind of tell it's a little bit solid in there, and that's really what you want. Because when you um, cook your bones and cook your meat off of the bones um, to make chicken stock, that's really going to be um, what uh, makes the you know the the stock extra healthy for the cats. You know, gelatin is good for skin, hair, and nails for humans. It's also good for skin, hair, and nails for cats. So um, what I do is I actually save chicken bones in my freezer from food that we've eaten, um, we humans have eaten. And yeah, there's a little bit of meat on the bones. Um, and I just stick that, those bones after I've kind of collected them for a few weeks. And I put them right into my, um, my pressure cooker. Well, the reason I use a pressure cooker is uh, so that it doesn't take so much time. A lot of times if you do a traditional stock, you have to simmer it for hours and hours, and with a pressure cooker it takes just 45 minutes. So the other things that are a little bit special about cat stock are I always add a handful of parsley. Um, this has been in my fridge for about a week, uh, but it's perfectly fine. I've got a stock of celery carrot and then I have um, some dried mushrooms you can also use fresh you're gonna add about a half a cup of dried mushrooms to your cat stock this is really the um, kind of a unique a unique thing that, that you do because typically with when you're just doing it for humans you're gonna use the bones or the the, the chicken and then you'll use um, what we like to call the Holy Trinity which is carrot celery and onion in your stock um, you're always going to add a little bit of apple cider or other vinegar to your mixture. And what that does is help leach minerals out of those bones. Because that's really the main point of the stock is that you get a really good, high quality, gelatinous, mineral rich stock. And you can see how that could be good both for humans and animals. Um, so the next thing I'll do is just fill this guy up. And there's a couple of markers and I'll usually mark, fill it up to the marker that's at the top which um, is about eight to 10 cups of water. So this is only eight um, and uh, you know, would be perfectly fine. And if you can kind of see, I don't know if you can see from where you are, this is my mixture. Um, I'm gonna let this soak for probably 45 minutes to an hour, just kind of covered. Um, when you close up your pressure cooker, it kind of goes like, well, hello, there we go. Goes like so. Put your topper on there. Um, so I'm going to let this soak for about 45 minutes and then I'll put it on the stove, let it heat up and get to pressure and that's when the whole thing um, starts rocking. This guy starts rocking, makes some noise. And, um, and then I'll let it pressure cook for 45 minutes. Um, I'll turn it off and, um, and then at the end I'll show you the results of what we get. Um, all of this stuff will be completely, um, completely pulverized. It's a really strange thing that happens to this. So um, I hope that this has been useful for you and that you can see how easy it is to make a good quality homemade stock. Um, as you can see, this is going to be a sodium free stock for our cats. Um, and you can also do this for yourself. Um, again, I'm Amy with Wellness Works. I hope this video was helpful. For more great videos, please visit my YouTube channel or um, catch me online at www.wellnessworksllc.net.